welcome back to some more L.A. Rush. Last time, we talked some mad shit. I can't monetize this video now because I said shit at the start. Oh well. I have not generally been monetizing these videos. These L.A. Rush videos have not generally been... Oh no, that box truck did not have a good time. They have not generally been very safe for advertisers. I've said some very risque things. Okay, so we're moving on to the next race, but let me let me see how many stunts are left. Because I think you have to unlock the stunts as the game goes on, because I swear I've seen more circles pop up as the game has gone on. But, like, the thing is, is that I've done so many stunts at this point, it's like, you know what, why not just do all the stunts? Objectives. Enter the crosstown race, indicate on your map to progress the story. Okay. I mean, that's up there, but, like, my question is, how do I know... There's, like, no progress menu. There might be one on the uh, main menu. But, like, there's no progress menu right here that tells me, you know, You have completed 24 out of 25 thumps. Keep doing races to unlock more thumps. You know, like any other normal game would give you some advice. I'm pretty sure you don't have to drive up to them to discover them. I'm pretty sure that once they're unlocked, they pop up on your map no matter where you're at. This game has thrown me some curveballs so far, so you never know. We have had some interesting sets of circumstances regarding this game, so... What did I do?! The star went away, asshole! You're just doing... this is... this is profiling. This is police harassment. I'm being profiled as a driver of a Subaru, and they're assuming that I'm a gangbang. I am offended. Anyway. We're flying towards this race. This should be the second to last race in the game. Right here. Like I said in the previous session, this should be the end of the game today. We should finish this game today. Okay. Only 5,000 enter this one. Cool. Very cool indeed. 15k to win though, so you know, can maximize our earnings in this one. I would like to maximize my earnings. Because who knows how many times I'm going to have to do the fucking knockout race. Because we all know I'm going to do the knockout race. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> and I have no sensibility. Oh, we're facing off against a Subaru. We're facing off against a Pagani Zonda. No, that's a concept car. Go! Oh, that wasn't a good bit. That wasn't a good start. That wasn't a good start. Okay, so it's two Pagani Zondas and two Subarus. Who's going to win between the Pagani Zondas or the Pagini or how the fuck you say it? Who's going to win between the supercars and the Subarus? Super Subarus. I have a bad feeling that I made a bad decision. Yep. Alright, well this race is going to be difficult to win. It is in fact going to be difficult to finish third in. Oh my god, I wish I had a boost. So this is going to be like the endurance race where they're going so far ahead that they are not having traffic spawn for them. And the only way that I can even hope to even come close to even finishing third in this race is if I find a speed boost, which I have not seen a single one of since the drop on the green flag. Yeah, I still fucking despise them. Are you fucking kidding me? What was that? If that's how I lose this race, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't even know where the finish is at. That we're racing against second right now, so I don't know where third place is. Or maybe we're... No, we're... Yep, that was third place, so... I don't know, the leader's back there, I mean, in front of me. No! You fucking... Are you serious? Stop! Okay, this game sucks. I did not want to go this way. Oh... Uh, oh, come on, dude! This race sucks! God fucking damn it, I knew it. I knew it. Just fucking quit the stupid fucking race. I'm not gonna fucking win it. Just send me back to the bitch start. Oh my god, this game sucks. What the fuck was that? First it kills me. For no reason. None. Zero. There's no reason why I should have died to that bitch cop. None. And then it does that fucking stupid shit in the intersection. What the fuck was that? God, that was fucking garbage. This game sucks. 
Yeah, this is what I mean by when I say that $41,000 means nothing. I'm gonna fucking drain the entire account doing the same bitch race over and over because it's gonna keep doing stupid shit over and over. Just go, 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 just go. Cool, now we're facing off against faster cars than the first time. My favorite. I sure love going to a race a second time and having to face against harder cars despite the game already sucking enough as it is. We needed to turn right fucking there. And the car doesn't stop because the brake pedal was not invented until 2007. Okay. See, I died, but he didn't. I died by running into him, but he survived. Fun game. I sure do love the arbitrary factor that is randomly blowing up. You see, this is why I hate the new Need for Speed games. This is why I can't fucking stand Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012, Need for Speed whatever the fuck. All these Need for Speed games where you just barely tap into a piece of traffic and the game's like... <gasps> Like a fucking cataclysmic event is taking place when you just sideswipe a piece of traffic. Bitch game. It's that burnout type physics engine where when I'm playing burnout it's fine because, you know, at least the game's physics engine rewards you for running into people. When you run into people in a fu- I hate this fucking game. When you run into people in a Need for Speed game, you just fucking blow up! Nothing happens! You just die! But in a burnout game, when you run into people and, you know, you can, you can run into your opponents and make them explode. But in fucking Need for Speed, you're the only one on the burnout physics. No one else will die when they barely get tapped into by a fucking police officer. Nothing's gonna happen to them but you. But you, you're just gonna go into a fiery fucking explosion never to be seen again and then the same exact fucking thing happens a second time. This game sucks. Look, I'm in last again. What a shock. Cool. I'm still last. Just in case you're wondering. Still last. Leader's probably done with the race. Third place is not even on the map. This game fucking sucks ass. Etc, etc. Oh my fucking god. Why? You can tell that they're scripted. Cause they go way faster than any other pedestrian vehicle you've ever seen up to this point in the game. It's scripted. Fuck you. This game sucks. And then it puts the point over here. So, uh, yeah, and then the fucking race is over. Fuck this fucking bitch game. Go, go, go. $15,000 later, we are on attempt number three of not getting fucked over for three consecutive minutes. Can this game go three entire minutes without being a complete slut whore? The question will be answered right now. No, it fucking can't. This game makes me hate being alive. This game makes me hate ever purchasing this game. I didn't purchase this game, it was a gift. It makes me wish I never asked for this game. You know, I've asked for a lot of games over the course of my life. Some of them I never got. Some of them I had to get for myself. This game was not one of them. This game was hand delivered to me by the Easter Bunny. And I still hate it. So basically I have to win this race just to get back the money that I've wasted doing this race. That is where we're at. That is the point that we've gotten to in this game. Is that we're just doing races, getting killed by scripted traffic, you know, the you know the, the whole nine yards. Whole nine yards. That is what this is being referred to from here on out. Is this game is the whole nine yards of getting fucked over. Yeah, if only that would happen more often. If only that is what would happen more often. Hey, isn't there supposed to be cross traffic in that intersection to arbitrarily kill me for no reason, or is it the next intersection? Is it this intersection? Nah, it's the next intersection. Yeah, you gotta keep your head on a swivel. Because the first time that you attempt a race, you're not gonna know where all the scripted traffic's at. 
Thankfully, there's police officers right in front of me. Okay, here it is. Here's the intersection. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it, in fact, was. I'm not going off that jump. You can go fuck yourself game. I'm gonna go this way and get railed by a police officer. Okay. Next up, we're gonna go in this direction and probably lock myself into this little subsection. Like a fucking genius. Okay, and then we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go this way. Yep, I've led this entire race up to this point, so I'm sure I'm gonna die in one of these intersections. Such as this one. Yep, there it is. Well, that's the... Okay, I was gonna say that's the least that I've died so far. But now I'm facing backwards, and here comes the traffic, because the car won't just fucking go forward. And would you look at that? I'm in last. Despite leading the entire race up until this exact moment, I'm now in last. Cool. Very cool. This game is a bitch. I should have just finished the race. I should have just drove to the end to see where the finish line is so I wouldn't have to die at the very fucking end like I am right now, floundering around. Is that all of them? No, that's just two of them. I'm gonna finish second and lose $5,000 on this race. What a bitch game this is. What a bitch game this is. Yeah, by five seconds I get the record time, and I still didn't win. Fun game! So, for this next acquire, I've already lost $5,000. So, basically, I started a $5,000 hole, and I still need to get the car back to my house without damaging it too much. Cool. $5,000 hole to start this acquire. My favorite. Oh my god, this man just materialized! Did you witness that? You can run, but you can't hide. Actually, he looked like that fucking dude from Courage the Cowardly Dog. The one that shaves people. The one that's definitely a pedophile connotation. That episode. That's what he looked like. He fucking came right at the screen. I was just having a PTSD flashback. You know, Courage the Cowardly Dog has some amazing episodes, and everyone's always like, the return, the slab one is the scariest, and it's like, no. No, it's not. There's nothing scary about CGI Egyptian dude. Okay, fuck the knockout race. Go fuck yourself, game. I'm not doing it. How do I get to this race? Or car? One or the other. Shut up. No. The scariest episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog is the one where the, like, the Harvest guy is, like, in the basement of their house and it's a weird-ass face. Now, that's scary. That's scary. CGI is not scary. But that fucking dude's face is scary, though. Acquire four. We're gonna acquire the fourth car in downtown. What could it be? Is it a car that doesn't suck ass? I doubt it. <laughs> what even have we not unlocked yet? I think this should be the Corvette. No! Fuck off, Asus! I'm not fucking updating the computer. Suck my ass, I don't need the updates, you fucking shit heel bitch. Don't lose this fucking session like you did the last one, you cunt whore. Um, what is this? This? Is this a fucking Lotus? Oh my god, dude, it's a Lotus. Oh my god, dude, it's a Lotus. So that means that there's still three races left in this game. Oh my fucking god, there's still three races left in this game. No! I am sick of playing this game. It's been like a week since I played it last. And that's obviously not long enough. I was gonna do NASCAR Thunder 2004 races today. But then I realized it was four hours until I had to go to work, so, I mean, the odds of me finishing a race in that amount of time is non-existent. I need to give myself a good six hours to finish these races. So there we go, there's an arbitrary 10% damage already, so there's a thousand dollars I'm not gonna get back. On top of the five thousand that I already wasn't gonna get back from finishing second in the previous race on attempt number three! All sorts of wonderful things are happening in LA Rush today. You know, that acquire with the Subaru went so good, I thought we were, I thought it was blessed. I thought that we might be on a blessed playthrough today. This might have been a blessed session. When in fact it was not. It was in fact the worst uh, plot mission that we've had to do yet. Oh my 
fucking god, I hate you all. Go away! Hit traffic and die. Go somewhere else that is not in front of me. How are you this arbitrarily fast? Where's your nitrous tanks? Where's your jet fuel? I need to turn left at some point, and I can't do that because there's an asshole to my left. In fact, when I touch this guy, it pushes me in the entirely opposite direction. Oh, this car sucks. This is this car's awful. This car is fucking horrendous to drive. Cool. I mean, I still got this asshole in front of me, and I just lost 20% of my health arbitrarily because this car sucks. This car is awful. This is the worst car that I've driven yet. And believe me, I drove the XXL car. Or did I not drive the XXL car? I think I did not. I just looked at the XXL car and mocked it as to how shit it was. When in fact, I did not drive. Okay. Almost home free. With 20% damage in the bag. And basically no money to make up for it. Um, excuse you, bitch. I'm gonna get on the brakes a block before my house just so that the car actually fucking slows down. And we're good. What a bitch game this is. Wow, dude. This car is shit. Terrible. Alright, how much money am I wasting on this? Somehow that's the high score. Four fucking thousand dollars. So that's nine thousand dollars that I wasted on that race. Thank you, game. Thank you. That's some good cold water, though. It is... 64 degrees in this room. And I'm, wearing, I'm playing without pants. You grabbing that one back had to hurt. Not half as bad as... Yeah, it did hurt, having to waste all my fucking money on it. Yeah, in case you were wondering, I'm not wearing pants right now. Because for some reason, whenever I play games for a long time sitting in this chair and I have pants on, it gives me the worst fucking swamp ass you've ever seen. Like, even when it's cold in the room, um, yeah, the car has five on steering. I think this is the first car that we've unlocked that has five on steering, and it's the worst car to drive in the entire game so far. Let's drive a concept. Let's drive a concept. Hormone car time. Uh, we did the one race with this car. Let's actually take this one out for a spin here. We did the endurance race. I don't think that if I retried the endurance race right now, it would go any better than it did on the previous attempt. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I feel like I've learned nothing since then. Other than the fact that this game's a bitch. But we already knew that, so. so. You know, what are we really learning at this point? Next race! <laughs> It's all the way on the other side of town. Cool. I love driving for a long time. But it's not as far away as the port stuff. So, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. Not by much, but still. You're making this worse you know. Now, yeah. nine is less than ten on the shit scale. So, I mean, it could be worse. So, since the last time I recorded, you remember the Winnie the Pooh movies that I talked endlessly about last time? I found some. I was, I told you I was looking for, like, a, I took a month out of my life to look for the Rabbit's Random Garden one. Well, I just randomly found it, like, on the fifth tape that I was, like, not even the fifth tape, like, the fourth or third tape that I pulled out. Because I'm trying to record them all on my computer. I'm not really doing a great job at it. And the computer's not helping, it keeps fucking up everything. Apparently I did that dollar sign race back there. Interesting. I don't think we've been in this part of town since then, either. There it is. Anyway. I found Rabbit's Random Garden, and, like, I listened to it again for the first time in years. And, like, I was laughing the entire time. Like, I was 100% right when I assumed... When I, I always I always said that Rabbit's Random Garden was, like, one of the funniest poo movies I ever did. It is! It actually is. You don't even need to get all the in-jokes. Like, it's just funny. The delivery is fantastic. One day in the hundred acre wood, Rabbit was planting in his garden. When suddenly, Tigger bounced up. Hello, Rabbit, said Tigger. Yeah, whatever, Tigger. Just don't do whatever it is you were about to do. 
Oh, so you don't want cheesecake. What cheesecake? Where is this cheesecake you speak of? What's up, who's? He was, like, in the middle of the um, road when someone swerved out of the way to not hit him and out flew from the window a cheesecake. Oh, that's pretty nifty, and he's just giving it away. No, he ate half of it, and, he, and he's so full that he thinks that he's going to blow up. So he decided to let me have it, and I just had a whole bunch of cheesecake elsewhere, and I don't know if I can eat any more, so I came over to see if you wanted to have some, you know, cheesecake. Well, that was very nice of you, Tigger, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. You see, my garden is... Oh, who cares about your garden? Come on. Rabbit, I mean, Tigger grabbed Rabbit, and they ran down the road. Or Tigger bounced anyway, and Rabbit and Rabbit was being dragged, and his face hit the ground each time Tigger bounced. So Tigger grabbed the cheesecake and gave it to Rabbit. Here, you can have it. And then he bounced away and laughed. An evil laugh. Like, <laughs> Who was laying there, and he was still moaning and groaning, so Rabbit decided to take the cheesecake back home with him. So Rabbit got to um, his house, and he decided what he was going to do with it, the cheesecake. But he got back to his garden while the cheesecake sat there, and he decided that he'll use the cheesecake for fertilizer. So he grounded up the cheesecake, covered it in nuts and he put it in each of the rows in his garden no sooner had he done this than run then the plants began growing at such a rapid pace rabbit thought that it was that he would be covered in all these leaves eventually it stopped and in front of Rabbit's house was a forest of green vegetables. And the pumpkins were damn near the size of his house. The carrots were so big that they touched the equator. Or, I mean, yeah, the equator. <laughs> From where they grew the potatoes. They were so big that you couldn't even wrap your arms around them. And for some reason, the cabbage didn't grow at all because the cabbage is a stubborn asshole. So, after Rabbit was was done looking at his, gawking at his fucking huge-ass garden, he began to wonder what was in that cheesecake and went to go see Pooh to ask. When he got back to Pooh's house, Pooh was crucifying some little um, woodland creatures in front of his home. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit got up, went up to him and asked him what was in the, the cheesecake. Pooh said, oh, I have no idea what was in that cheesecake. I just ate it when went with it. But you could probably ask Owl. He knows a lot of things. Before Rabbit could even say a word, the scene transitioned to Owl's house. And no matter how much anger filled Rabbit, he went into Owl's. Because that's what the script said he was going to do. Owl, are you here? It's Pan, it's Rabbit! I don't know who you are! Get out of my house! Oh, hi, Rabbit, what's going on? Um, Owl, could you tell me what was in this cheesecake? Oh, cheesecake! There's a lot of cheesecake! There's cheese cheesecake! There's cheddar cheesecake! There's sharp cheddar cheesecake! There's sharp cheddar with Colby cheesecake! There's popcorn cheddar with Colby cheesecake! There's Swiss... Colby Jack Monterey Philadelphia shredded cheddar cheesecake. There was this cheesecake that Pooh had. It was, um, I don't know, but it made my garden grow really fast. Hmm. I do know what that cheesecake is. It may very well be normal cheesecake, cheddar cheesecake, Swiss Jack Colby Monterey. Rav Owl, could you just tell me what you think it is? I think that it was bone meal in that. Bone meal? Yeah, when you ground up someone's dead body's bones, and you feed it to stuff that makes it grow really quickly. Wow, that's kind of contradictory. But whatever. 
so Rabbit went back to his garden and he started picking the grass, out, I mean weeds, around from the huge ass fucking plants. He then noticed that Pooh was walking up the road towards him. Pooh seemed unusually larger. Hey, Rabbit. What's going on, man? I don't know. Um, are you feeling all right? You seem rather large. Thanks, you asshole. I'm trying to lose weight, you fuck. Pooh walked away, and Rabbit stood dumbfounded. So he commenced in picking his garden. First he got the carrot, or at least one-sixteenth of it, because that would feed him for the rest of the year. But once he got inside, he noticed something strange. The cheesecake had respawned. It was sitting on the counter again. What is this blasphemy? said Rabbit. How come this cheesecake really wants me to do stuff with it? So he decided to go back to Owl's. No, I didn't say anything about the scene changes. Owl, this is really strange. I have no idea what's going on. I need a lot of help. Who, who are you? Oh, it's Rabbit. Oh, oh, oh this is some crazy stuff going on. You know, your existence reminds me of a story about John Jacob Jingle Chimer Jew Jabby Chip Jeff. He was walking on his way to the market when he saw a white, when he saw a big mice snare come off. Ow, the cheesecake, it respawned. It's back again. It made my garden grow really quickly. It respawned. Man, this is so confusing. I don't know what's going on. Whew. Well, then grab a book, you illiterate bastard. Rabbit walked out the door, wondering why he even tried anymore. He went to Piglet's house, only to find that Piglet was not there. So he robbed Piglet's house of everything that he owned. He put it in his wheelbarrow, and he started running down the road like a madman. Piglet caught up to him and said, What are you doing? I'm taking all my stuff. And Rabbit said, Because science. Then he ran off and left Piglet all his things laying in the middle of the road because he was running and he spilt. So, he returned home to find that this food was still growing. And I just broke that. But anyway, he was getting really scared. So he decided to go and see what was going on with Pooh now. When he found Pooh, he had grown to the size of a semi. He was laying in the middle of the road feeling miserable for himself again. He was beginning to wonder if Eeyore had taken over Pooh's body. Somehow, some way. Maybe Eeyore was a witch doctor, but we'll get to that part later. So Pooh was laying there and Rabbit was like, What on God's name happened to you, Pooh? And Pooh said, Oh, that cheesecake, it's making me grow. Why is it making me grow? I shouldn't be growing at this rapid of a pace. So Pooh walked. So Pooh got up and started walking. He caused major earthquakes wherever he walked. And they were so catastrophic that he even shook him that they even shook him off his foundation. He was flying through the air. As Rabbit wondered why that was happening, he went back to his garden only to find that all his vegetables were gone, and so was the cheesecake. He was wondering why his garden was being so spontaneous and random about everything that was going on. But no sooner had he spoken that down the chimney tumbled his some carrots. They were normal size, but Rabbit thought that there was something strange about them. Then some potatoes fell down. Some pumpkins, some bananas, some apples, and then soon Phil Collins tumbled down. Rabbit, what's going on? said Phil Collins. I'm sorry about this, Rabbit. I was on my way home where I fell out of an airplane and all my food when my when a door to my or airplane opened and all my food got sucked out. I jumped out after it, but as you can see I ended up in your home. So I'm sorry.
Phil Collins climbed back up the chimney, only to fall back down, and Santa Claus fell on top of him. Ha, ha, ha. Merry Christmas, Rabbit. Ha, ha, ha. Santa, it's July 16th. Oh, whoops. Santa climbed back up the chimney, and he fell back down, only to be covered in body parts. The birds came together into a great gangling man. He turned on some disco music, and they all started dancing. Then, the rest is history. I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna end this here. Huh. I'm like, so disinterested that it's like, I'm just interested enough for it to be funny, but also disinterested to the point which that's a part of the humor. Coming through, everyone. I, I just don't care. Let me get to this race. Shut up, police officers. Oh, wow, slow motion camera for this. Yeah, we're driving backwards on the endurance race right now. I hate that endurance race. I've been playing this game for 15 years, and I have no idea where to even begin on that endurance race. I thought I had it last time. I thought I was going to finish at least third. But, police officer had a $10,000 to enter this race. Oh, God. Oh no! Oh, I have three more attempts at it according to my money! Uh oh! I made a good decision not driving that fucking piece of shit Lotus! God damn! Oh, that, that's gonna go down as one of the best decisions I've made on the channel! <laughs> Ever since responding to Ty Dillon! This is the top tier one! We're racing against a Subaru and a Mitsubishi uh, Lancer! Man, I gotta get it this time, otherwise I'm gonna, oh uh, yeah, cause that, cause this dude in this, you know, supercar, you know, that's, that's probably gonna be my closest competition, but like, oh, of course I didn't get that. I don't need boost, I'm too good for boost. Too hot to handle. Ain't gonna get her. You know that one fucking episode of like, or like several of those episodes of Family Guy where Brian's writing a book called Faster Than the Speed of Love? I didn't even know that that was a fucking Giorgio Marauder. Oh my god, I just butchered his name. It was a Giorgio. Giorgio son. Marauder, I think is how you say his name. He's like, I don't know. Is he French? I don't fucking know, dude. Anyway, Giorgio's fucking amazing. He made basically the entire Scarface soundtrack. <laughs> and it's legendary. I have always wanted to make a song in the style of the Scarface soundtrack. But I just have no idea how to do the synths. I don't even care, dude. I don't even care. We're fine. The car is gonna respawn going in the right direction anyway. So, like, I don't care. You can fuck... You can fuck me in the intersections as much as you want. But as long as I blow up and just get respawned back into a normal place, it don't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. As long as I get respawned in a reasonable location, oh, who cares? Who cares if I blow up? It's when I don't blow up and I'm floundering all over the fucking place like a fucking fish out of water. That's when it's a problem. Yeah. Except for in the endurance race. Then it's, you know, not good. The endurance race is when it's a problem. I have made a poor decision going this direction. Oh my god, the traffic is real. The game cannot keep up with the amount of polygons. Where is the end of the race? <laughs> I say a minute and a half into the race. Where is the end? Where's the end? Where's the end? Where's the end? This is not the end. This is not my life. This is not my home. This is not me. And I do in fact hate this. Anyway, give me that boost. I'll be taking that boost. Thank you. No more arbitrary traffic in the intersections, please. You can see that the game is stuttering. It does not like when you go this fast. The game does not like when you go fast, because it has to load in all the tiny little assets, the tiny little fence posts that are have physics on them, and every single little itty bitty minute detail. Like, this game was not built for the PS2. Speaking of not built for the PS2, I just bought a new PS2. This is the best my PS2 has performed in months, these last couple of sessions of LA Rush. But I still bought a fat PS2. For the first time in my life, I am now the owner of a fat PS2. Now, obviously, I don't have it yet. Man has to ship it out to me. But, um, I will own it eventually. 
Oh, through the Pro Charger sign! Oh! I think I made a good decision. Oh, this is the end of the race right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All three of my opponents are right up my ass, dude. Oh, but we're gonna win! We're gonna fucking win, dude! Get fucked, truck, bitch! Fuck the truck. We fucked the truck and won this fucking race. Oh, by 10 seconds. Oh god, dude, that was intense. $30,000 is now mine. Finally. Sort of making up for all the money that I raised, wasted on the previous race. Oh, hell, dude. That was... That sucked. That really sucked. That's that. That's that race done. So now we can actually unlock the Corvette and move on with our lives. And be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Ugh. Got just a few more to trace down now, T. Keep your focus. It don't get no easier from here on in. Oh yeah, because it was so easy before. That fucking race before this last one was such a walk in the park, dude. A walk in the park. Yeah, I made a very good decision going to this car. I don't know if that was my subconscious being like, yo. Yo, you may not remember it now, but ten years ago when you finished this game for the first time, that race sucked. You should probably drive a car that doesn't suck. Like the Elise. That car was atrocious. No, I'm not doing the knockout. Shut your ass up. Then again, you know, maybe it'll unlock a really good, you know, concept car. No, don't do it, KG. The last three knockout races haven't given you shit. Oh dear, I'm upside down. At least we're not in a race. Yeah, it could be worse. We could be in a race right now. No! Oh God! Oh God! This is not how physics work. And um, yeah. Um, as you can see, we're kind of under fire right now. As it turns out. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm yeah. You need more proof that Vigilante Eight's the greatest game ever made. I am flying a fucking blimp. I'm flying a blimp. This is the greatest game ever made.